one thing that I would say being an entrepreneur is just compete with yourself. Don't try to compete with the competition because the moment you start doing it, then a lot of your energy is going uh, in, in seeing what competition is doing. Do the things right, let the business grow and let your work speak. I'm Sunny Khosla and I'm from India. I'm here in St. John, New Brunswick from last six years and I'm the founder of NAS Immigration Services. The story behind NAS is the NAS initials are from my family. N is the first name of my mother and A is the first initial of my father, then A, my wife, and then S is Sunny. So it's Neelam, Anil, Ashima, Sunny. So entire family is in that name. So it's a family business. <laughs> Watching TV, sometimes we will watch uh, movies, but right now there's not a lot of time left. So that's a complaint my wife has right now because uh, on weekends, sometimes I go to work at four, four o'clock and right now I'm doing 12 hours. I'm more stressed. I think I will go for watching shows which are not very stressful. Like I would go for the laughter shows in, in, in like any language, Hindi language that we, 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 we will watch movies together. So I'm, I'm from New Delhi, I have grown there, New Delhi, India, and uh, since my childhood I was studious. So yes, I did, I did have uh, you know a lot of fun for outside activities. We were not the computer generation, so we had played a lot uh, you know uh, outside with friends. So I did all my studies until my graduation, until my bachelor's in India, and then I did my CPA from USA. I'm a CPA in New Hampshire as well. So that's how the transition happened. And when I moved to New Brunswick, I converted my license after giving few exams to CPA New Brunswick. So this story has been, I think, uh, quite fulfilling. And uh, that's what I enjoy. So giving back to community is very important. That's the reason I'm here today. Yeah, I used to play cricket. So if you're coming from India, cricket is the most popular sport. It used to be most popular, still the most popular now, you know, football, soccer is taking, is coming in picture, hockey as well, other sports. But when we have grown uh, in that era, cricket was everything. So yes, anyone who has grown in that age, especially, you know, they will go and play cricket at school level and then with friends. So that was the fun part. We had uh, school days, Saturdays and Sundays, early morning, we used to do that. I would say a lot of hard work of our parents, like my mom was a teacher and uh, all our family members, uh, like we're four siblings. So my eldest sister is doing really well. Again, she was uh, uh, one of the top students in the school. And the other sister who is uh, elder to me, she's again an IS officer there, uh, top, top notch. Uh, I did majors in commerce, commerce with mathematics, and I did a bachelor's in commerce as well. And in that age or in that era, commerce was quite popular. Commerce and IT, so I had to choose one of them. Because my sisters and everyone was going for commerce, I chose that by default. But again, uh, it inclined well with my passion as well because mathematic accounting, they both required numbers. After completing my bachelor's, I started working. So in 2007, I completed my bachelor's. So I, have, I had a break in between. When I say break, it was because I was working. Then in 2011, I realized that, okay, if I have to move up in the ladder, I have to enhance my qualification. So I decided, okay, I will be doing CPA. While you are working, CPA requires a lot of time as well. So I was able to manage that with work. It was not the easy journey, reason being, uh, at that point in time, exams were not happening in India. So I had to go all the way to US to write the exams. So when I landed there in US for my first exam, I didn't even know if someone will be coming there to pick me up or not. So that's how strange feeling it was at that point in time. That's the reason I'm in this profession because this allows me to help those who I see in that situation with whatever you know best of effort I can do that. We are helping immigrants. We are helping immigrants in getting uh, settled here in New Brunswick. We are also helping the employers in getting the labor that they need because labor shortage is a big problem here. So we are trying to bring nurses, we are trying to bring uh, accountants, IT people, and uh, food industry people in New Brunswick. So that's what we have been doing. So our sole intent is to help uh, both parties involved, which is uh, the employee side and also from the employer perspective as well. So that's the challenge of most of the immigrants who are here. They miss their family each day, though they may not uh, show that on their face because a lot of things happens uh, with the health of parents and a lot of things uh, happens in day-to-day -day lives in India or any country that immigrants are coming from. Still they get up you know, and have a smile on the face, go to work, 
so which not many people here might understand being an immigrant i would say any immigrant can connect with it that if they have families back there they miss them each day and here it's all about work if i get up i do work i will have my food and then sleep so it, but in case the young students are coming and they are uh, going to nbcc or they're going to university of new brunswick or any colleges or universities here their life will will be different i would say they should experience more of the fun part as well in learn sport like uh, football here or hockey so those are the learning opportunities here and uh, i would say if someone is coming at the age of 20 25 and uh, they are doing schooling and they don't have to spend a lot of uh, time in working then it will be a good experience for them because at that point in time we know that we had a lot of fun in our age so education was important in in our field of business but when someone is looking for doing entrepreneurship it depends on the line of business they want to go with sometimes uh, it might be a good time to start after high school and then do some courses like there could be a lot of businesses transportation business or any other business but i would say upgrading uh, skills is important doesn't matter what line of business you are studies might be different because for our field it will be different for their field it will be different it is very important because beyond a point money may not play that crucial role because if every day you're turning up uh, you know if you're going to work you're not liking what you're doing eventually business will not grow because you're not liking what you're doing and then all these skills that we talked about may not be of any use because you're not liking what you're doing so you have to discover your passion because one business is successful and you want to start that that's not the right way to do create your own business idea go for it i enjoy helping people so i always say is that uh, it's my clients who keeps me happy it's my clients sometimes who may give me stress as well so that goes hand in hand <laughs> but the most amazing part of my job is helping people It was one family and they got a refusal and they were asked to do, to leave the country so they started from st john they were going to brazil they were at toronto airport and somehow i was able to talk to the immigration officer and they said okay we will get it done so i i had to call them up at the airport do not board the brazil flight that girl was pregnant and they were really happy so that's the success uh, you know one of the success story that is uh, right here in my heart because they didn't want to go they were leaving but we brought them back i always feel if business is not making money they can't give back so earning money is first thing that you have to do that if if you have to help others you have to be in a position to help yourself and then help others so to me it's very important and it's uh, you know that's the reason we when i started this uh, this business now we are in the position to give back to the community so a lot of newcomer events we are the title sponsor most of the events that happens in st john new brunswick like uh, that indo canadian society is doing we have signed a contract for a year or so same for kerala association and why they are reaching out to us because they know that we are not doing it for business i keep telling them i know how to get the business this i am doing only to give back and that comes naturally and in india as well my mother has done that a lot so it is again uh, inheritance i think it is very important i keep observing people so when you know when i'm seeing the great leaders how they're doing it i observe their their best practices and like in rbc i would say the time management skills how to be you know proactive those things i learned when i was working with my leader there she was passionate so i was able to see that okay if you are passionate you will do well and uh, all the things that i learned there has helped me out uh, you learn from failures as well so the mistakes that i made a uh, few years back when i started my startups and all so those were not mistakes not failures now i see them as learnings because now i know that i don't have to do that so th- that knowledge is with me I would say there are a lot of people who I who I admire, like starting from American Express days. Uh, my vice president who was there, I think Ashish Ashish Mahajan was there. I used to look up to him. Sometimes it clicks from here, and then the working style as well. Every leader has a different working styles, and you don't have to be a leader only because you know uh, you want to go with that style. Choose your own style, and once that clicks, a lot of people to admire. here in rbc my vice president was there emilyn patterson i think uh, one of the passionate dynam- dynamic leader i worked with so she is great and then i have not restricted myself to only couple of people i keep looking at successful people and i see what they are doing differently one thing that i would say being an entrepreneur is just compete with yourself 
don't try to compete with the competition because the moment you start doing it then a lot of your energy is going uh, in in seeing what competition is doing do the things right let the business grow and let your work speak uh, and time will come that you know you will not even have time to see what competition is doing it's always be good to be aware of the market but don't spend a lot of time uh, in competition and you know uh, your focus should be how you should grow yourself with ethical practices because if you have to uh, succeed in long run your integrity and uh, values will be tested and if you sustain that many businesses will come many will go so don't look for quick reward you may see that your competition is earning good money because of x y or z things you don't have to copy that we say that quick money they they doesn't have legs as well sooner they come faster they will go as well so just wait for wait for your time and uh, business will pay off i think financial literacy plays a key role in the success of uh, any entrepreneur so it should start from middle school high school the reason being i will take one example like budgeting how they make budget now with their limited pocket money that they get or you know if they are making money with part time jobs when you start doing right things it becomes habits and if you take those habits with you in the entrepreneurship you don't have to learn something new naturally you are uh, inclined towards it so if you know how to make budget same same thing you will you will start there and now also time management if you are learning the time management skills in the financial literacy literacy sessions how to be organized so these are the basic traits that every business needs whether you will be successful or not it's irrespective of that but you need those traits to be successful and uh, find your passion and be ready to take risk there are a lot of time you're starting a business a lot of noise will be around don't do that there is a lot of risk but be ready for that it is your age you will learn from your mistakes and if you want to do a job 8 to 5 you can do that but if you want to do a business it is not 8 to 5 so make sure that you are there to spend long hours you are there to work for your team work for the business and eventually it will test your patience as well business will will not grow first year so make sure that you are strong perseverance will play a key role so make sure your persistence and uh, just keep taking risk eventually the results will not come for the first year or second year that does not mean that it will not come if one business will not work second will and we need more entrepreneurs because uh, it's not only about you becoming the entrepreneur once you become the entrepreneur you hire people and then there are families to you so it's become more important that you're giving those hours not only for yourself not only think about business make sure you think about the workers and once you keep them happy business will grow and relationship management is very important and be organized and have the time management skills with you if you don't have it chances are you may not succeed